Hi, it's Carla from Country Chic in Port Saskatchewan. Today I'm going to show you guys um, how to make a large clock. So we do have a video of the small clock on um, our YouTube channel, but today I'm going to show you how to make the big one because it's a little different when you're having to line up um, the stencils and stuff. So you're just going to start um, by putting some water onto your board. So when we do the big clocks, I like to do just two panels at a time, just so that the water isn't drying before you get to the wiping stage of it. So the more water you put on, the lighter your color is going to turn out. So I am going pretty thick with my water, but I'm just going to take my slate gray paint and brush it on. Ah! Once I have that all over the two panels, I'm going to take just a piece of paper towel and give it a wipe. So you are gonna to need to have paper towel and a glass of water when you start this. So like I said, I did use quite a bit of water, so it is pretty light. I am gonna go over a little bit because um, I do want it a slightly darker color. So now I'm just using the paint. I'm not using water with this because the water is already on the board. a really nice look like it's stained it's just gonna dry a lot faster not be so stinky not be so messy so there that's the exact color I wanted so that's perfect now I'm gonna move on and do the other three panels so it's just gonna be the same process oh you don't want to drift water across because it will leave um see you get to learn learn from my mistakes it will leave the watermarks on there. So I'm actually gonna do that from that side. So yeah, then I'm gonna start do it from this side, make it a little, um, so I'm not having to pull that water across. You can even do one panel at a time if you're kind of nervous about it. I think two and then the three works well. So then I'm just going in with my paint. I'm going to be careful not to touch those other two panels as they are already painted. I'm going to worry about my edges after. Lots of times in classes I get asked, should you do the edges? You definitely should do the edges, but um, for that, I don't, you don't necessarily need the water. I mean, you can use water, but you can just use regular paint and just kind of wipe it as you go. So I am going to let this dry for maybe about five or 10 minutes. It doesn't take very long to dry. And then I'm going to do a dry brushing effect on it. And then when we're all, um, when I'm done the dry brushing effect, then I'm going to do my, actually, I'm going to do my edges. I'll do my edges now. So I'm just going to go around and complete that. And then we'll do the dry brushing effect. So now my board is nice and dry. It's dry to touch. I'm going to do a dry brushing effect on it. So I'm going to take a clean dry brush, not one that's been put in any uh, water. I'm going to start with the a white color. So it's just like a plain white. I'm going to put a little bit of paint on my brush and then I'm just going to dab it off on the table so my brush isn't saturated. So I just have a little bit of paint on there and I'm just going to lightly go in and I'm going to go with the grain of the wood. We are gonna sand it so you do have um, a little bit of forgiveness when you're sanding it. If you go a little heavy, you can sand the spots off. And it's all up to you. Some people like it heavier, some people like it darker. I mean, um, lighter, it's all up to you. It just gives it that nice rustic look to it when you do the dry brushing. And this, I didn't mention earlier, this is our 32 clock, 32 inch clock. So these are available in kits from our store at countrychic.store, our online store, where you can order it. We have, I think, 11 or 12 different faces you can choose from. So some are Roman numerals, some are 
numbers, just regular numbers. So it's kind of up to you what you want to do. You can add a monogram. This one today, I'm not going to be adding a monogram to. The nice thing about these is you can ma you can make them to match your decor in your house. Totally customizable to whatever color, whatever colors you got going on. So I got the the white done. I'm happy with that. Um, now I'm just gonna go in. I'm I'm just gonna use the same brush. You could use a different one. Um, and I'm gonna just do a little bit of black. I'm not gonna do too much black because our numbers that are going on are going to be black. But just to give it some a little extra dimension. Here I find this a little heavy with the black, so I will go in um, when I'm sanding it and maybe do like a little extra in there. So now our board is going to dry from the dry brush. We're going to give it a light sanding with the 220 grit sandpaper supplied in your craft kit. So you want to go again with the grain of the wood. So you're just going to do a really light sanding. You can do a little bit and then feel how much um, smoother it is, which is just going to make the stencil stick a lot better. Now that that's all sanded, we're going to just take a piece of paper towel and we're just going to give it a wipe off. So this is just going to remove the dust from sanding, which again will make our stencil stick a lot better. So you can see how much I got. I'm going to just do one more quick wipe here, see if we get anything else off it. So yeah, you can see there is quite a bit of dust that just that little bit of sanding does leave. Now we are ready to apply our stencil. So. For the 32 inch clock, the stencil comes in two pieces. That's why I wanted to do a video of this so you guys can see how to line them up. So what I find it easiest is to flip the stencil over and then you're going to peel the backing paper off. So this stencil is made of three pieces. So it's got a clear layer that holds everything together. Then you got your blue layer, which is your stencil and then your backing paper. So you can just Peel the backing paper off like it's a big sticker. What I do tell people is if this wants to lift, you can see the blue is lifting there. Just bend the paper and fold it down. Some people will try and turn it over and squish it back down. I just find bending the paper is the easiest. Bending it and just giving it a press is the easiest thing to do. So then you're going to flip it over. This stuff is pretty forgiving until you add some pressure to it. Once you add pressure, you're not going to be able to move it. So you want to make sure that you are um, in the exact place you want to be before you um, do put any pressure on it. So you can just move it around. You can see how much I can move it around. So what I like to do, I like to use this line here as a guide. If you're putting it on, I don't know if on the video you guys can see, but if you're putting it on like this and you can see my guideline and you can see the stencil, obviously that's crooked. So you want to use that kind of as um, a line because the line on the stencil is straight and the line on the board is straight. So you're just going to, you want to make sure your 12 o'clock is nice right in the center and see I'm still off a little bit. So I'm just going to adjust it. So this takes a little bit of time to get it just right. I have had people whip out their rulers and do it. 
um, which you are welcome to do. I just have done this so much that I can just kind of eyeball it and get it exactly where it needs to be. So that looks nice and straight. The 12 is kind of deceiving because you think the X is the center, but it's not because it does have the two ones on it. So this is, this is as straight as this is centered. So I'm going to take my squeegee. You can also use a credit card for this or a debit card. Um, I'm going to start in the middle and with a good firm pressure, I'm going to push down and I'm going to go up. So I'm going to go up and then I'm going to go down and then I'm going to go up and down over the whole thing. And then I'm going to move over to this side, do the same. And then I'm going to pull my clear piece off. So this stuff is called free mask or transfer tape. So I'm just going to peel it off. So now we're ready to add our second, our second piece. So it's going to be the exact same process. Flip it over, peel it, peel your backing paper off. And then this is where it gets a little tricky where you need to line it up. So I like to be kind of on the side of it like this. So I have a good, nice straight edge. We do overlap them a little bit. So you do have some, some give to where you're going. So I'm just using this piece that's on here already. It's on this piece and here to just to line it up so it's nice and straight. So you want to make sure everything is lined up good. That looks good. Now we're good to squeegee it. Same process for the squeegeeing. I'm going to peel my clear layer off. You want to watch that none of these pieces come up. Say if they do come up, do the same thing you did before. Just push them back down and peel it off. So now we are ready to start painting. So for this color, I'm going to paint the numbers black. So I'm just going to fill up my black here. There's our black. So you want a clean, dry brush. Again, don't use any water for this process. So I'm just going to take a little bit of um, paint on my clean, dry brush. I'm going to dab it off. I always tell people just dab it where you got nothing on your board because you just want to do really thin layers of paint. Just my stencil is sticking up a bit, so I'm just squishing it back down there. Um, yeah, so you just want to go really thin with your paint. If you do a nice thin layer, it's going to create... Um, like a little bit of a seal and then after that you can go a little bit thicker with the next coat but I like to start with really thin coats of paint you can see too I'm not going I'm not trying to get into the line into the lines on the board if you're gonna do that if you're gonna try and do that it's just gonna cause a big mess because it's gonna run and bleed so you do not want to go into the lines. I just kind of get the paint close to it and yeah, I just don't go in there because I don't want running and bleeding. If you have running and bleeding, it's going to be a disaster.
So while I was painting um, the rest of it, this is already dry. So if it's dry to touch, you can add another coat of paint. So I'm just going to go in and put another coat of paint. I'm probably going to do two or three coats over the whole thing. And then we'll do the reveal and then we'll add the clock hands to it. So our clock has dried, so we're ready to peel it off. So basically you're just going to start at an edge and peel off the, the stencil. So I have a little crafting knife I like to use. Um, you can kind of, you could just use a regular X-Acto knife, whatever you have on hand. So you can see where I did have a couple little bleeds um, right there and then two over here. What I like to do to fix those, I just put a little bit of water on it. This just helps soften up the paint. I 
I'm going to let those sit for a few minutes. While those are sitting, I'm just going to go in and any place I had um, a little bit of paint over in my cracks, I'm just going to scrape that out. Because we're going to fill those lines in in a, in a few minutes here. Okay, so the, the water has set on those for a little bit. So I'm just going to take my crafting knife again, and I'm just going to scrape that out. I like to always have baby wipes on hand and then just give it a wipe, and then I'll go in after and touch up the paint. Okay, so where I did um, peel those off, I'm just going to go in, touch them up with a little bit of paint, again with the baby wipes. The nice thing when you do a dry brush, you can't really see where there's touch-ups. If it's a solid color, you definitely um, can maybe see those touch-ups a little more, but there's so much going on on this clock right now, you would never notice that little that little bit. So once that's done, I'm just gonna go in now and paint in the cracks. So I like to use a round, a smaller round brush. So if you watch any of my other videos, I do this on all my videos. So I just go in, maybe not all of them. I do it a lot though, cause I just think it really adds to, the, um, to your project when you fill the lines in. So I just fill it in with the black paint or whatever color you choose to use. I'm using black on this one. White would also look nice on this, but I just thought black would be good for this one. So once you have it on there, then I just take a baby wipe and just wipe it off. Again, with the dry brushing, you don't have to be too perfect because it's got that look already. So. Okay, so our clock is done. It looks good. Now we're just going to add the hands. So when you're adding the hands, I like to just honestly stand it up like this, but I'm going to hold it um, flatter just so you guys can see. So you're going to take your clock mechanism, slide it through. Then you'll take your washer and your nut and just slide them on there and then just tighten your nut up. Is that a nut? Or is that a bolt? I feel like I should not. So when I'm doing that, I'm holding the it on the other side and then turning this one as tight as I can. So there it's good. And then my clock hands are gonna go on. So your clock hands have, they don't look like it just looking at it, but they do have a clear film on there. So you wanna peel that off. And then you're gonna put your small hand on first. The, the um, circle diameter is bigger than, than this one. You can see the difference. So you want to put that on, just give it a little push down. Then you're going to do the same with the, the bigger hand. 
And then you're just going to put your little finishing piece in there. You're just going to slide it right in, give it a push down, and our clock is good. When I use these hands, I just like to test them because sometimes they will catch, like this piece will catch on this. And then obviously your clock isn't going to work. So if that happens, I, you can just give them a slight little um, bend up or slight, slightly bend that one down. See, it's going to catch on there. So I'm just going to give a little bend. So I just like to go like that, make sure it's working and it's complete. Thanks for watching.